Are you ready for this? You're about to learn something that everyone needs to know. What's up, y'all? It's time for a video, so start the roll call. I'm going to entertain like I always do. I'm going to help the people, and I'm starting with you. So sit back, kick your feet up, and relax. 50K on the way, halfway to the plaque. If they ask you who I am, I'm Wave Man Mike. So subscribe, drop a comment, and don't forget to like. If you didn't already know, that's the lyrics to my new intro. They're super dope, aren't they? I know, you ain't even gotta tell me. But yeah, anyway, in this video, I'm gonna teach you something that every waver needs to know. You're about to learn how to keep your waves fresh all day. How to maintain your 360 waves so you don't walk around with patches of hair sticking up and looking a mess. First, what I'm gonna do is explain everything. Then I'm gonna go back and demonstrate it for you. So are you ready? I can't hear you. I said, are you ready? No, but in reality, I can't hear you anyway, because that's not how things work. So go drop a comment saying, I'm ready. So I can know that you're following along. Let's go. Maintaining your waves is more than wearing a do-rag throughout the entire day. Crazy. It's more about showing love and treatment. Okay, so first off, you want to make sure that you're starting off with your waves looking nice. Because how could you possibly keep your waves looking nice if they were never nice to begin with? Get a brush. The type of brush you get really doesn't matter. But I recommend you get a brush from smoothstyles.com. They sell high quality brushes at an affordable price. And when you use my discount code, you get a huge 20% discount. If I were you, I'd go buy one right now while you still can. Because lately they've been selling out. Okay, now that you have a brush, you need to use it brush your hair and when your hair looks the way you like it it's time to go throughout your day before you leave out the house make sure you have these things a brush a do-rag and a plastic bag if you have a book bag perfect but if you don't then you might just need to take only the plastic bag let me tell you why you need these things let's say you're walking down the street then out of nowhere you hear thunder. Now you know it's gonna rain. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna let it rain on your hair and ruin your waves? No! You're gonna throw your do-rag on so you can keep your hair compressed and lay it down. Because I can guarantee you that if that rain or any liquid gets on your waves and you don't have a do-rag, a wave cap, or any type of compression on, it's game over. So why do you need a brush? Okay, let's think of another scenario. Oh, okay, I got one. Let's say you go on a long car ride and you get tired and you fall asleep. Boom, your hair's messed up. Your head was rocking all over the place, rubbing your waves against the door, your seatbelt, and the seat. Now you're stuck looking like your neighbor's dog on a bad hair day. Well, actually you're not. Because that's what the brush is for. You're going to use that brush to fix your hair. Brush down anything that doesn't look right. Now you're thinking... You just taught me why I need the do-rag and why I need the brush. But why do I need a plastic bag? Well, it's because you're about to do the plastic bag method. If you don't know what that is, don't worry, I got you covered. I've made videos about it, so you can go watch them after you finish watching this one. But yeah, you're gonna do the plastic bag method because it is honestly very important to making sure your waves look nice. Pretty much anytime I go anywhere, I have a plastic bag in my pocket. But yeah, this is the part of the video where I show you how to do everything. If you can recall the beginning of this video, you'll remember me saying that you need a do-rag. So right now, I'm basically just gonna be showing you how to put a do-rag on. First, you place the do-rag on your head. Then you decide the placement. I personally wear my do-rag lower because I think it looks best. Once you have the do-rag where you want it, you wanna grab one of the strings of the do-rag and wrap it around your head.
make sure you expand the strings so they aren't balled up like this because if it's balled up you're gonna get a nasty line on your forehead honestly sometimes you can't avoid getting the line based on how tight you tie your do-rag but you want to do as much as you can to prevent it now that you have the first string around your head go ahead and grab the other one this one goes around the other way now grab both of them in the back and tie them like you tie your shoes i would show you me tying them together but i'm sitting on my bed right now and i'm working with limited space okay so now you know how to put a do-rag on now you need to know how to use that brush to fix your waves up grab that brush and brush sections of your hair that look messy for me it's usually my hairline and these sections on the side It's also this section in the back right here where the taper is. Okay, so now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the plastic bag method. So first what you wanna do is grab a plastic bag. It could be a Ziploc bag or it can even be a grocery store bag. Probably not with stuff in it. I personally prefer the Ziploc bag, but you can use whatever's available to you. Take that plastic bag and put your hand inside of it. Then rub the bag along your waves. Rub in the same direction that you would brush. What this does is lays your hair down and it even adds a little bit of shine. Don't ask me how this works. I'm not a scientist or anything. Well, technically I am a scientist in college, but you know what I mean. I'm not that type of scientist. But yeah, you get a bag, put your hand in the bag, and while your hand is in the bag, rub it on your waves. Watch as I demonstrate it for you. Do you see that? Magic. All right, so if you're still hanging around and you're still watching, don't worry because you're gonna be rewarded for that. I got a bonus tip just for you, just for the people who stuck around and watched this far in the video. All right, so right now you're probably going crazy. You're like, just get to it. What is the bonus tip? And that's pretty much, you wanna go ahead and buy some clippers. Listen, hear me out. I know you're afraid to cut your hair and you have every right and reason to be afraid to cut your own hair. But if you want to be like all these most elite waivers walking around with fresh hair all day, every day of the week, you're going to need to get some clippers for yourself. Getting your own clippers takes you to the next level. Trust me. When I bought my own clippers, it really, really helped. Although you can't tell right now because my hair is all messed up, but usually like throughout the week, I would line up my hair and give myself tapers so my hair is always fresh. And I always look fresh because of those clippers. My hairline is jacked up right now. But that's because there's a lot of things going on in the world right now. And I really have no need to, you know, do all that stuff because we can't really go outside anyway. You know what I mean? But usually, you know, my hairline is at least you know decent that's because of this bonus tip i'm trying to tell you getting your own clippers takes you to the next level if nobody's told you that before at least i told you just get some clippers get regular clippers and get trimmers i recommend um you get oster fast feeds which i think are like 60 dollars, and then you also get andis t outliners which are probably like 60 dollars too listen i know that's kind of expensive but think about it okay 60 dollars. how much is a haircut 20 dollars. so this one-time purchase of your clippers is the same amount as three haircuts you would usually get now you're probably thinking that sounds crazy i'm paying more for the clippers than i would if i would have just went to the barber but no not really because think about what would happen after those three cuts. 
you're still going to need a fourth cut, a fifth cut, a sixth cut. You're going to need cuts for the rest of your life. You're paying one time for these clippers and getting free haircuts for the rest of your life. Now, I know you're afraid because you don't want to mess up your hairline. You don't want to mess up any of that stuff. And I get that. We were all afraid before we started cutting our own hair. But all it takes is that first step. You got to put your foot down, stop being afraid, and just learn. If you mess up, good. Because those mess ups teach you things. I messed up so many times and those mess ups have taught me okay this is what i shouldn't do or this is what i should have done instead you get what i'm saying i'm hoping this all is starting to make sense and this is clicking for you i couldn't even imagine if i didn't cut hair right now or at least cut my own hair like i can't imagine still having to go pay to get my hair cut i've been cutting my own hair for like four or five years now every single time literally not a single time in the last four or five years have i gone to the barber shop ever since that first time i cut my hair i've never gone back to the barber that's it, it, that should just tell you by itself cutting your own hair is being great and it'll help you keep your waves not only first throughout the entire day but throughout the entire week throughout the entire month the entire year you're always going to be fresh as long as you want to be fresh remember what i said don't judge me based off what i look like right now because right now i'm in that stage where i really don't care i'm not going anywhere anyway but any other time i could just line myself up whenever i feel the need to and that's a big big tip on how to keep your waves fresh or any hairstyle honestly but yeah that's pretty much the end of this video i can't really think of much else to talk about by this point you should have already pressed the like button but if you didn't go press it right now i just spent all this time all this time making this video for you the least you could do is press the like button it takes one second maybe two seconds tops i just spent like 15 20 minutes making this video and then i'm gonna spend like another three hours recording it then i gotta wait for it to download on my phone and then upload to youtube then i gotta wait days or weeks to upload it like officially all this stuff i'm doing to help you so just do me that one small favor of pressing the like button and if you're really appreciative you can go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel you can drop a comment on this video and you can follow me on instagram my instagram name is wade man mike but yeah that's pretty much the end of this video i'm wade man mike subscribe comment and like enjoy your day